to my channel. I am so glad that you're here. Thank you for the opportunity to allow me to be able to teach you how to set up your channel right. I am going to show you all of the detailed information that I did not know when I first started my channel. And I sometimes had to learn the hard way. I had zero experience and everything that I have learned has been hands-on. And that is the reason why I call myself a self-proclaimed marketing strategist because of everything that I learned. This video tutorial is going, to, is going to be in two parts. The first part today, we are going to be learning all about the settings in YouTube Studio Beta. The general settings, the channel settings, the upload defaults, the community settings, and the advanced settings. But by the end of this video, you will be ready to start using the sharing icons or the sharing buttons in order to start creating your organic traffic. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Very important. Go into your settings. You will see general here. These are your defaults. So video beta for the channel. This is where you would add key. The keywords would be relevant to what your channel is about. Okay, and you could add as many keywords as you like. What I do is I will go into the actual YouTube search engine here and type in a keyword and see how it is. Remember, these are channel keywords. Now, as you type in, you're going to see, you're going to see your keywords come up. Okay, so what are we looking at right here for YouTube? We're looking at YouTube, YouTube tips, YouTube channel, YouTube subscribers, YouTube views. So what we're going to do is we're going to use those keywords that we just saw for YouTube. Those are the top keywords right there that people are typing in. YouTube subscribers. And now if we look over here at the vid IQ, these are the top phrase keywords that people type in when they are looking to build a, for me to build a YouTube channel. For you, it will be something that's relevant to your channel. So I'm just going to copy these and this is why you need to have vidIQ because you would have this feature you'll be able to copy these tags just copy them go over back over to setting up your channel and just paste them in here so now you have the most relevant keywords You have to wait sometimes for this box, these boxes to come up, but don't overclick it because then you will lose your place where you are at. And then you can save this information. I usually save each one just to be sure you don't have to. You can wait and go into your advanced. And here is the branding. And this is where you can choose an image. So I already have a, an image that I have from my other channel. I'm just going to click in here and choose a, another image. This is just another one that I made. So I'm going to use this one. And then you can save everything. Go back into settings, channel, in the, the branding, you want it to either start at the end of the video, start at a custom time, or the entire video. 
just go with the entire video. Now I did a tutorial on the branding. I will put it in the description. Save. Back into your settings. Upload defaults. Okay, so now why is this important? This is important because these are going to be the defaults of what your channel is basically going to be about. So your title is going to change all the time. Your description is going to change, but you can put your hashtags in. So let's use the same hashtags. So this information is going to come up every time you upload. It's not going to make that in capitals. See, this is pretty generic here. So I usually add my channel. This is a way of you being able to create your own phrase and keywords for your search engine optimization. Okay, so I'm just gonna have that. And then this is the way that you want. You can also put in a a place on the internet where you you are also found and this is my best choice here at the DIY affiliate and this is the reason why I say when you create your Gmail and you create all the other social media sites which we're going to get into later to do it with the same keywords this is the reason why when I look up at the DIY affiliate I will find me there, the DIY affiliate on Pinterest, the DIY affiliate YouTube, the DIY affiliate YouTube discussion, the DIY affiliate interactive views, which is another one of my websites. So this will give people more information about you, your your videos to come up all the time. You just, I would just click private. So then that way you can change it to public or you can change it to unlisted and then save. Go back into settings. Now I, I tend to save everything all at once because then, or I save everything not at once but one at a time so that I know it gets saved so let's go into extras okay so that was the essential this is the extras here you can do the same thing I don't know if I still have the tags that I copied but I think I do there now I got the tags from here so you want to have tags that are relevant how to grow a youtube channel how to start a youtube channel how to start a youtube channel for beginners and grow your youtube channel and i've got another one that i'd like to put and actually sometimes that goes up wrong So in a way you're making your own keywords, okay? And then if you wanna go into the advanced, there again, this is the way that it is going to be coming up all the time. So you have, well, for me, it's Creative Commons license, which will allow you to be able to download this video and upload it, reuse it as your own. My video language is English community contributions is off at the moment my category this is important what is the category that this this is going to go in what do I want to be known as which category 
the how to and style is one that I've chosen. And captions are to a, a certification, right? So basically, I just choose this content as never aired on television in the US. And then save. And here are your comments. Hold potentially inappropriate comments for reviews. And users can view ratings for this video. Yes. Because you want to be able to show people that you are not hiding anything. Save. Back into settings. Community. Now, this is where you can add moderators, and I will do another tutorial on that. Approved users, and it tells you what to do to paste the channel URL of the users to add as an approved user, and also hidden users, and you can enter words that you don't want to see. And then here is the default. This is comments on your discussion tab. Hold potentially inappropriate comments, yes. You definitely don't want to have inappropriate comments anywhere on your channel. And messages that are in live chat, hold potential, okay. So then, save. Now each time you save, you are going to lose the, the pop-up box. So you need to go back in other settings. So this will take you into the advanced channel settings. And this is still in the Creator Studio. Okay, there are my channel keywords that I created. The country, Canada, anybody that wants to know how to associate their website, leave and I will get back to you. I just finished verifying mine. Allow other channels to appear. Allow my channel to appear in other channels' recommendations. Click yes. Display the number of people subscribed to my channel. It's up to you. I always click yes because I like to be transparent. And I don't like when people think that you are hiding something. Okay, so that is the information right now that you need to have. All my changes are saved. Let's go back to my channel. That information was for the advanced settings of your channel. So that's where you find that in the other settings and the advanced. Okay, so let's cancel that since that is all done. So now we have our channel set up properly.
it's just the basics. I'm going to be uploading a video. And showing you and going through the steps of creating your organic traffic. Now, because this is a new channel, you will see at the bottom, want to upload videos longer than 15 minutes, increase your limit. So we're going to click into increase your limit. Now, remember, this is a new channel. So if you are starting a new channel, you are going to see this. So this is account verification. You have to you have to verify your account. So you select your country. Mine's Canada. This is the drop down box. Call with an automated voice message or text me with a verification code. So I'm just gonna say text me. What language should we use to send your verification code? Mine is English. You can change the language. Please choose a different language from the bottom. So this is the language area right here. This is where you can change your languages. Then you choose the language that you would like to have your verification code in. And then you put your phone number. This number is very important. Without your six digit verification code, you will not be able to upload videos more than 15 minutes. And also you will not be able to use a customized thumbnail. So the account verification is very important. Make sure that when you put your phone number in that you have your phone ready in front of you. You will get a six digit verification code. If it is a call, you will get a phone call and it'll say this is your six digit verification code and it is necessary for you to have. Okay. Or you will get a text. Then you just click submit. It'll say, congratulations, your YouTube account is now verified, continue. So then you will now see your avatar, you will see your channel, and you will see verified. And this is what it means by verified, that you are a verified partner. From the beginning, you are a verified partner. The only difference is YouTube is not giving you money and not making money from your channel. Here you will see all of your information that you are allowed to do and things that you may not be allowed to do. So let's just go through this briefly. Uploading is enabled. 
live streaming, you are eligible for it and you can enable it. You're not enabled yet for live streams, which is different than live streaming. Now here it says you can upload videos longer than 15 minutes. So that is now enabled. You can have unlisted or private videos, that's now enabled. And you can have custom thumbnails, that is now enabled. You can also link annotations to external sites or merch partners, that is enabled. All the rest are not enabled yet. So now we're going to return to YouTube. We're just going to go through this very briefly. Okay, your first video that you upload is going to be your introductory channel trailer. Now this is all important to your organic tra uh, traffic and creating a greater online presence to be able to do these very important elements in the beginning. Okay, so I've, I have this video here. I have it uploaded. Now I want to go to other features customize my channel okay so here now what I showed you in the first video for new visitors and I've, I've already done that for new visitors and as you can see I've already put that in there but I am just going to show you Let's click on this pencil and here I can remove this or I can change this if I remove it this is what you will see this right here and all you do is just click in there your video will come up and you just choose it and there you go you have your channel trailer there is more search engine optimization that needs to be done with it and I will be covering that in another tutorial for returning subscribers and here it says feature content so if you just click in your feature content, you will then see a box come up. And this is where you would have your second video. So I'm just going to save that. Oops, sorry, I'm just going to cancel that. And now let's get to the organic traffic. So we're going to click on this camcorder right here up at the top. You have a choice, public, unlisted, private, or scheduled. We're just going to pick private for now. You can drop your video in, and this is the easiest. You can drop your video in, and this is the easiest way. As I put my video here up on the desktop. I am just going to take my video from this window right here and see when it gets to so there we go that is the first way this 
that is the easiest way is to know where your file is and then to just drop it in. The second way is when you go to your camcorder, upload a video, Now, instead of just dropping it in, we're going to go right into the computer to get it. So, let's go right into the computer. I'm just going to upload this one. And it's coming up in private. And then it will then be loaded to your dashboard. And here you can see what I did when I set up my channel. There are my tags that have come up. There are the hashtags and there is the other information that I put in should say follow me at the DIY affiliate and it has come up in private everything else is all set up so let's just wait for that okay so now as the file is uploading we're going to give it a title now we're not doing a full tutorial today on the processing and just this is just the basics I copy my title and I put my title in the first line of the description. This helps with your search engine optimization. You would then give a little bit of a description as to what you want for your, the description of your feature video and I am just going to take that Okay, this is where I show you one of my tips and tricks that I have learned. I don't know if you've ever lost a video, but I have, and I've also lost information. So what I do is I open up a Google Doc, and I take all the information from the video, and I put it into the Google Doc, the title, the description, and the keywords. Okay, so you have your title, your description, and now custom thumbnail. So let's just click on that. Just gonna grab one of my thumbnails. I'll just use this one for now. Okay. Next, here, since you don't have any playlists yet because you've just uploaded your introductory channel trailer and now you are uploading your feature video, you create a playlist. So just click on New Playlist, add your title. And you would have done some research for your title, for your playlist. Mine is how to create a YouTube channel. Yours can be anything. And for now, the visibility is private. End screen. This is the, 20, the last 20 seconds of your video. Promote your content on mobile and desktop. 
build your viewership with powerful end screens on your video. So here it says five new end of video elements to promote videos, playlists, channels, websites, and call to subscribe. Elements that show across desktop and mobile devices. Easy to use grid and snap to functionality to pro editing. Okay, got it. Now for the demonstration. Okay. So if I click use a template, it shows me the different templates that I can use. So I choose the one that I like the best. Select. So here I can choose a video or playlist. most recent upload and the only choice I really have here is best for the viewer so this is what shows up in the last 20 seconds of your video. And you can also change it so that it looks different. Like for instance, I can move this over here or I could bring this up here and put me in the middle. So you have best for the viewer, most recent upload and a subscribe. If you wanted to add an element by itself, you can do that two ways. One way is through here and the other way is through the editor, which I will show you in another tutorial. I'm going to return to YouTube Studio. It just may not be saved. That's not good. Hold on a minute. Save your changes. All changes saved. When you are finished using this feature, return to YouTube Studio. Now it's important that you follow this direction about returning to YouTube Studio because otherwise YouTube could get confused and end up not saving your video or freezing. Now, if you go back into your videos, you're, you will see that you are still in draft. So you want to click edit draft. This will then take you back into your video. The next step would be to go to the advanced settings. Okay, so we've already added an end screen. We want to add the card. So we would click into here and then that would take us into the another screen for adding cards. Now you can create a template 
and use this template with your other videos. So let's just create a small template right now. Okay, so we're going to add a video and playlist. And this is where you can customize your text. I'm just going to put And you want to try to have a teaser text. This is important that people are going to, when they look at it, they're going to be interested or intrigued and they're going to want to find out more. So important, do this first and then create your card. Now you will see this little eye pop up there and it says from the new DIY channel. If you click into it, you will see your video in the form of a little video card. And this is what pops up for when you create your cards, okay? And this is the timing. This is where you want it to end up. Or you want to, st you want people to start seeing your card, okay? So for me, this is the feature video. So I want people to start seeing the card three minutes and 36 seconds. So this is my first card. Now I am going to create another card. I'm just going to click on the playlist here. Since it actually has not been created yet, I am not going to be able to do that. And you cannot use the same card. So we will not be able to do that right now. So we will only be able to create this card with a, a playlist. You can also create a promote another channel and then the channel information, the username or the, the or U, URL. And then a custom message. and then create your card. So now this is going to come in to show in my video at another, a different time. Okay, so this one here is going to show in my video around 13 minutes and 22 seconds into my video. And this is what it's going to be. My main channel, learn all my secrets. That is the teaser text. Okay. Next, you can create a poll. Now this will help with your engagement, especially if you have a channel 
where you are interacting uh, with your subscribers on a certain topic. So for instance, I usually use, what are you struggling with? What do, whoops, sorry. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy this. Go into my Google Translate. And you see here I am translating from English to English. So I do want to change that. So I'm going to open up a Google Translate. And it's a good idea to always have your Google Translate open when you are working on your computer is to always have Google Translate open, especially when you are working and you are talking with people of different languages. Okay, so say I wanted to change that to I'm just going to click in here to show you. Okay, so say I wanted to change that to Hindi for the people who speak the Hindi language. And there's a lot of people that um, speak different languages but understand and write a different language. Okay, so what can I help you with? There it is in Hindi. I'm going to put a star on that because I want to save it. And then I'm going to copy it. And this is an example. I'm just going to go back into my poll where I was. And I am going to do it in Hindi. There we go. That is one way. Here is another. If you click into the Google Translate, you can go translate this page. And while it's working, you do have to be patient. Sometimes you may have to click it twice or sometimes it just takes a bit. Sometimes I just wait for a couple seconds and then I click it again. In the meantime, do you hear that music in the background? This is 528 Hertz. And I always create my videos using one of the, it's called Sofa Show Tones. So this particular tone is for transportation and miracles DNA re repair. It is called Tone My, which is used to return human DNA to its original perfect state. The reason that I listen to it when I'm creating my videos is because it helps to increase the amount of life energy, clarity of mind, awareness, and to be able to be awakened or activated in a creative way.
It helps you to feel inner peace. And those are just a few. This is this is taking a while, so I'm going to click into it again. It was almost like the universe said, oh, excuse me, but you need to tell people about this ancient sofa show tone so that they can use it when they're creating for the video. And I keep it in this Google Doc. I'm going to be copying all of the information that I use. So I went, I translated some information from Hindi or from English to Hindi. Thing that I do in case I lose my information and then I don't have to do it over again. Okay, and then this is the the one that I used for the English. Make sure that it copy it. Way to add your cards and your the second way to add your end screens and your cards is to go into your editor. Way to add your cards and your end screen is your editor. Today I am just showing you about the cards and the end screen. I am going to do a full tutorial on the editor. So, because this is a new channel, this is what you will see. And YouTube is really good with showing you what you need to do. Okay, so this is your end screens. I'm just going to click in here to show you. apply a template because I've already added some end screens so I'm just going to click apply a template now the same templates come up we'll choose this one apply this is what it's going to look like you can again change it around if you want. I and I have the most recent upload and best for the viewer. And a subscribe. That is how you can add your end screens. This is if you wanted to add an element just by itself but this video can only contain up to three end screen elements so I am going to take one off here okay so I'm going to take off the Best for the viewer. Okay, so now I can add an element. It seems to have deleted the whole template. Okay, so now we can add an element. You can add a video. 
a playlist, a subscribe button, or a channel. Just the same as you could add it the other way. And it's very easy to do. It's the same way. If you click Add Video, you will see your videos come up. Most recent upload, best for the viewer, or choose a specific. If you choose a specific video, then your videos will come up. And also, any video that's on YouTube. So, if we chose another video that was on YouTube as well from maybe your another one of your channels or another channel you could do that as well let's just choose this one for now and then that will then come up here and then you will then see it here subscribe button so then the subscribe button will come up so your video your subscribe and then if you wanted to add a channel it would be the same you would just click in here you could search for a channel or you could choose a specific channel Okay, so I'm just going to search Okay, so this is me right here And I have the same picture so that's silly, but yes, that is me with the same picture but it is two different channels. Okay. Then when you are finished, missing, it'll tell you a channel element is missing a custom message. So that is right here, this one here. Custom message. Um, And they're always changing things around. Okay, here you could see that you can use 60 characters. I'm just going to add that for now. But you can add up to 60 characters. Okay, and now when you see this blue box come up with the save, you can then save. And I will be doing a full tutorial on the editor. But this is just the basics of just getting started right now. Here's the video. This is where it shows up. Now, the second part of the video, I will be showing you how to share your video in order to create your organic traffic. So, this video is going to follow this video that I've just done. So, stay tuned and make sure that you watch it so that you get the full information that you need in order to create your organic traffic. is the video. This is where it shows up. Now the second part of the video I will be showing you how to share your video in order to create your organic traffic. So this video is going to 
follow this video that I've just done. So stay tuned and make sure that you watch it so that you get the full information that you need in order to create your organic traffic. For sharing knowledge is free and we can all share our knowledge and help to build a community of like-minded people who are willing and able to help each other grow online. This is the DIY Affiliate, wishing everybody a wonderful evening and looking forward to hanging out with you soon.